Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. We talked about an experiential part of this so that everybody all over the world can experience this. Can we walk through that? And I want to ask everybody to let us know what you experience and really be present for I believe like there will be some incredible awakenings today based on what we do right here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the first thing is to understand whatever we feel, whatever, whatever we feel, whatever we vibrate, we attract. And that's the law that never fails. It has to happen. So if we feel undeserving, we're going to get conditions that are, correspond to that feeling. Uh, our feelings of deserving either add or remove from the energy that brings about the manifestation of our desires. So if we desire a certain thing but we don't expect to get that state, that vibration will bring about people and events that will ensure that we don't get that state. Why? Because the universe is a place of vibration and that that is its natural language. A negative expectation really attached to a positive desire makes up the net vibration of disappointment. So the first question is, do we feel we deserve? Now, let's take, let's take that place of what do we want. So the truth is we deserve everything we, we, we desire. Our creator doesn't want to hold back anything from us. Giving, us. giving is its way, really. So only we can block ourselves. So let's take an exercise that will help us move into a place of understanding so that we can take this sense of being, this I am, this soul experience, and create what we want from it. So the very first thing we have to do is we have to understand, let's take, let's take a couple of things that keep us from, from, from experiencing that, and then we'll go into how do we really experience that with the simplest way possible or the quickest, most simple way possible. We have to understand we've all been taught to focus on effect rather than cause. We've been taught that everything is as it seems when, in fact, truth is nothing is as it seems. We've been taught that everything we see is real when, in fact, nothing, when everything we see is really an illusion. We've been taught that imagination is unreal when, in fact, imagination is really the very source of reality. We've been taught that everything around us is known when, in fact, nothing around us is known. So things are this and things are that. You know, In fact, they're not these things. So... You know, we have to do this or we have to do that, when in fact we don't actually have to do anything. So seeing, seeing, making a perceptual change in the understanding of what we are experiencing and seeing is an illusion starts to move us into a new form of reality. And that new form of reality is that we can create the world as we desire. Now, how do we do that? This is a vibratory universe, right? Okay, so we exist in two states. We exist as identity, an individual about an individual soul or an I am, and as the whole, I or we exist in, in the infinite self or the infinity self. And everything is one, and we are one. And the tiniest part of a hologram contains all the information of the whole hologram. Everything is contained uh, in every inch of space in the universe. So infinity already creates everything. So we are already abundant. So let's take that as our basis. If every little inch of space is completely filled with everything that's in the universe, and it is, you know, we can exist in various forms forever, but we already have everything that's in the universe. So that brings about a certain kind of experience. That brings about the law of correspondence. So what we vibrate at, we experience. So let's take a little exercise to create the mystery and magic and the miracle here. The first thing that we have to understand is that 
if we, we want to identify, for example, a desire, right? We want to uh, create a reality that we want to experience. So that reality then is really a place of our uh, corresponding body sensations. Give me a second here for a moment. I am, something's going on around me here. I have to, uh, I have to take care of this for one quick second. I'm sorry. So what happens no is that, yeah, I'm sorry, there's, there's something going on here. No problem. I, um, I want to ask, we've so got a happens, question from, okay. Okay, I'm back. Are you there? All right, so the first, oh, okay. yeah, the first thing, we'll, we'll answer the question in a second, okay? I just want to, let's, def, let's define what we need to do here, and then we can answer the question, because I think this will help clarify before we get any questions, all right? So the first thing we have to do is to define to define the reality we want to experience, right? We have to be we have to define the reality we want to do and we have to be willing to live up to it. So if we want to be a millionaire, we have to define that we're a millionaire, we have to claim it, and we want to have to be willing to live up to the responsibilities of that. The second thing we have to do, and this is in a, this is the exercise, the first thing I'd like you to do before as we define that reality, now I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to go into the the life force that is you. Start focusing in the chest and body and abdomen area and feel your life force. It's very dramatic. I'll give you a couple seconds. I'll keep silent for a couple seconds. Feel that life energy within you. Okay. We start to relax when we start to feel our life energy. We start to relax into that place. So we close our eyes. We get into our life energy. Or we focus our attention either on our heart or in this area of our life force. So we have to be silent for a little while in order to relax into it. So we have to close our eyes. It's the easiest way. All right. And then we stop doing anything except observing and noticing what comes up. So we rest ourselves into this silence and allow ourselves to become open. We allow ourselves to experience this ocean of silence around us. Sometimes it'll take a couple of minutes. Sometimes it'll take longer, depending on, you know, how focused you're able to be and how willing you are to release your resistance to the here and now. So, well-being, and here's the thing too, very important. Well-being is not a goal of this practice. It's a prerequisite. That's why you have to relax into this place. So everything becomes nothing is created, nothing is being decreated. We're simply relaxing into this place right now. So we start to allow ourselves to look at this new version of ourselves, this higher, more sensational version. We, I am, I am a millionaire. Let's just say if you are broke or you're in the midst of turmoil of some sort, I am happy, I am joyful, I am healthy, whatever the case may be. You allow yourself to look at this new version of ourselves. Allow the thoughts to well up that come from your declaration of who you are. Then what you want to do is you want to enter that new viewpoint. You want to enter it from the place behind your eyes and not the place of an observer. In other words, you want to experience it as the bodily sensation of your beingness in that situation. So you want to experience it not as yourself walking into the bank, looking at yourself cashing a check. You want to experience it from you opening the door, feeling the sensation in your arm and your chest of pulling that big glass and metal door out. You want to walk in, look, look around the place, you know, see who the tellers are, see the people who are standing there. You, you're not looking at yourself. You're looking from yourself because everything uh, comes from us instead of, you know, to us. We're not in the world. The Buddhists say the world is in us. So simply cease to behave in a way that has any difference than you being in the picture, okay? So the corresponding, then the next thing, which is extremely important, you I am what it is you want to be, I am. You go to this place of energy inside of you, your life force, and then you get a corresponding physical manifestation will appear. You start to get a corresponding physical sensation of whatever it is you I am. So if you want to be a millionaire, understand that millionaires have a corresponding body sensation to that. If you if you say you're broke, you're going to experience a broke feeling. If you say you're depressed, you're going to experience the feeling of depressed. If you say you are um if you say you are, you know, not good at relationships, you're going to experience the feeling of being rejected. 
okay, et cetera, et cetera. On the other hand, if you say, I am a celebrity, celebrities have a corresponding body sensation to being a celebrity. Uh, millionaires have a corresponding body sensation to being a millionaire. You know, happy people have a corresponding body sensation to being happy. So you, I am your, your, your declaration of who you are, and it's not an affirmation. You're not trying to get from here to there. You are declaring that you're already there. You're in the point of here and now where all power exists. And that then, uh, don't try to make it happen because you already have claimed it as real. So when you declare I am, you've claimed it as real. You don't then try to get it after that point. You simply become that thing. We get in this world what we are and not what we want. So the corresponding sensation creates this image. It creates an image of yourself as a millionaire, right? So now you are moving through this movie inside of you and experiencing it physically in a corresponding series of body sensations. Okay, so as that happens, and you start to become familiar with that image, you start to do that enough times to see the image that you become trusting of that image. You become familiar with it, which means you see more and more details of it. Okay, you see more and more details of what's going on around you. You become more aware, and you're drawing it as you see more and more. You're drawing it closer to you until you trust the image. You're trusting that that is your experience because as you're imaging it through your body sensations, you're actually integrating it into your body. As you integrate it, your cells get activated with that experience. So now your nervous system knows what that is. You're already there. You have moved into a parallel into a parallel universe to whatever that thing is. You've already claimed it, and so you become it. We get in this world what we are and not what we want. So you become that thing simply by doing this exercise. Okay, And then once you have claimed it, the next step is the simplest of all. You simply allow your love and your joy and your eagerness and your excitement to well up about what it is that you want. If your love and joy and excitement and eagerness don't well up, it's not what you really want at the moment. It, there is resistance to it. There's blockage. But if you allow yourself to experience love and joy and excitement and eagerness toward that thing, you start to integrate it very, very deeply, and then it cannot help but happen to you. And then you're done. You don't have to go back to do that again and again. Like you don't have to practice it every day for hundreds of hours or hundreds of repetitions or any of that kind of stuff. You simply are that thing. There's no any counterintentional thought that comes into your mind you simply negate. You know, when you, say, when you say, I'm a millionaire, and then these thoughts come in, but I'm really broke, I don't have enough money for rent, I can't eat well, et cetera, et cetera, I don't have the money to take my girlfriend out or experiencing luxury or experience luxury things, you're actually negating that thing. But when you say, I'm a millionaire, and you don't allow any counterintentional thoughts, it doesn't matter what you do. You simply stay in that space, and then it must come to you. Your dreams, that situation must appear in your life by the laws of the universe, the law of cause and effect. So what you're doing here is you're manifesting the, the causes and the effects simultaneously. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.